just imagine your, your, your experience when you just look into beautiful nature, suddenly you feel ecstatic. What happens is same. The one who is seeing, the seer, the looker, is dissolved <laughs> for a moment. As a result, you, you are ecstatic of the nature. It's not the nature providing you the happiness. No. It's the dissolution makes you to be ecstatic, not the nature. This is a key area to be understood properly. The nature is helpful to dissolve. <laughs> the role is up to dissolution. <laughs> As a result of the dissolution, the experience of ecstasy happened by yourself, not by the nature. <laughs> nature has the capacity to dissolve your mind. <laughs> Because you have some affinity with the nature. So as anything. When you are so close with your beloved, suddenly you experience ecstatic. The same rule is applied there also. Before that you are crystallized. Your mind was so crystallized before you meet your beloved. The moment you meet your beloved, suddenly you are ecstatic. <laughs> Because you already set a program that he or she is my beloved. <laughs> now when you have come across, when you meet each other, suddenly a kind of dissolution happens inside you as a matter of that as a result. Therefore, the dissolution of that, you experience something. That's the beauty of dissolution. Beauty. Dissolution means you are one with everything. Just one step before oneness. <laughs> one step before. Just one step, not even one step, a hairline, a hairline. <laughs> Dissolution. So, the crystallization without dissolution, how oneness is possible? Dissolution happens when the peripheral stuffs are detached. You have to understand what is dissolution. In the case of mantra meditation, the mantra is a peripheral phenomenon. Peripheral. The mind wants to catch the mantra, <laughs> possess. The mantra wants to possess the mantra, the mind. One has to be careful whether my mind is trying to catch that mantra because it sounds very good, <laughs> kind of attraction. As a result of attraction, the mind starts clinging to the mantra. It is like you are clinging to the transport, aeroplane, tie up yourself with the aeroplane, not interested to get out of the, uh, get out of the aeroplane. <laughs> because the aeroplane is very nice, let me have a tie up with that. <laughs> However beautiful the mantra is, 
unless and until you just detach from that, not having possession on it, dissolution happens. Detachment is not hatred. Detachment is a step towards dissolution. Same thing applicable now here, I tell you. The word that I am uttering, if you consider this as a mantra, you can dissolve now also.